Hey everybody, this is a quick review and a quick under the hood, I guess you could say, of my uh, Tamiya Grasshopper with the Team CRP truck conversion kit on it. And uh, so this, this kit right here started off as a Grasshopper and after a couple years of driving it around like that, I decided to go to Team CRP, uh, which I found I think through eBay and uh, discovered that they had a uh, like a monster truck kit for the grasshopper uh, so I thought I'd put it on and uh, it's really great uh, I really like um, the chassis it's really good for um, being a truck chassis the gearbox is built pretty strong and uh, I felt like the team CRP parts uh, were all really good uh, there were a few things that I had to scrounge through my uh, toolbox to find and kind of make it work but uh, in the end, I really was happy with the uh, result. So why don't I show you it from a couple different angles here. Uh, here's what it looks like from the front. And this is a, a Tamiya Midnight Pumpkin body that I uh, painted and put on here. And uh, as you can see, it's got a little bit of mud on it. And uh, we'll go ahead and take a look at it from the other side. And uh, oh, there's the uh, servo wire. I don't have electrics uh, mounted in this rig at the moment. I'm hoping to do a brushless upgrade and maybe put a uh, 380 brushless or maybe even a 540 brushless motor in here and uh, see what it can do. Uh, but uh, I also have it upgraded with a bearing kit. Um, so it's got bearings at all four corners and then also uh, bearings in the gearbox uh, wherever they go, right at the end of the hubs I think. And it's a really lightweight chassis. Uh, it handles the abuse pretty well. Uh, one of the things I've noticed is uh, this battery holder right here. Uh, this will occasionally fall out. And so I've kind of tried to... Uh, of course now it doesn't want to come out. <laughs> How typical. Anyways, I've tried to mount it a couple different ways and try to figure out a way to get it to stay in there better. So if anybody has any ideas on that, feel free to uh, send a comment uh, or put a comment in the post below um, but I drilled through a hole in the battery cover here and uh, in the previous chassis this is actually a newer one the last one got beat up pretty good um, I had a hole drilled right to the side and I'd zip tie it in um, and that kind of held it in place pretty well I also have this rubber band here this helps uh, keep the weight of the battery off of the door the battery cover door here uh, with moderate amounts of success. I don't know. It, it's been all right, but I'm kind of looking for something better um, So if anybody has any ideas on that uh, go ahead and send me a comment uh, Let's see These wheels and tires are let's see these are uh, Who makes these? HPI. Yep. These are HPI uh, Tires on here really like them really like them a lot. I also run sand paws uh, on this rig and those are a lot of fun uh, so let's go ahead and take the body off and see just what the chassis looks like. Go ahead and take our clips out of here. Kinda... Okay, so that's what it looks like. Let's see if I can prop it up here. Eh, maybe not. It wants to roll away. Anyways, that's what it looks like without the electrics. Normally I've got the uh, ESC, electronic speed control and the receiver right here. And uh, motor's back here, battery goes right in here, obviously servo's right up here. And uh, it is a little bit uh, tail heavy, so when I jam on the throttle, the, prop in, the front end will raise itself up, which is a lot of fun. I love it. And uh, a couple of other upgrades I've made. I've got the uh, adjustable uh, servo linkage here. Um, I was having the problem with the previous one, is uh, metal's a little bit thin, so with these bigger tires up front, it it kind of bends a little bit easier so I get the wheels and kind of a different angle every now and then I'd have to kind of take the pliers and kind of turn it back and make sure they're kind of pointed at least somewhat in the same direction <laughs> uh, anyways that about does it um, got a couple other things I want to show off real quick before we finish up here uh, this shock right here is off of a uh, Tamiya Super Hornet uh, one of my first um, kit RC's that I had Love that thing to death. So it's oil filled on this side. 
and I think I tried to put it on this side, but with the motor being there, I wasn't able to fit it in. So we'll see. Maybe with the 380 um, upgrade, we'll go ahead and uh, have a little bit more room in here to play with and maybe do a shock upgrade. Um, let's see. Otherwise, uh, oh yeah, a couple other things. This part right here, this is the uh, shock tower, not the shock tower, sorry, body, body posts and the body post mount, and that's part of the uh, truck conversion kit. So that kind of raises the body up a little bit higher on the chassis. And you can see same up front here, this thing is really tall, sticking way up. With the grasshopper, it's usually way, way down here for the body mount. So this one's way up, way up high. And I love it, it really gives that uh, exaggerated um, monster truck look. Uh, because, uh, you know, very, very seldom do you see a monster truck that uh, is way down here, you know, the wheels practically rubbing in the wheel arches. Usually jacked up pretty good with a pretty good body lift kit on there. So, um, yeah, that's about it. does it. Uh, hoping to post some videos pretty soon here. Uh, maybe once the weather gets a little bit warmer and uh, we'll be running this around and uh, hopefully doing uh, maybe a top speed run when I put the uh, brushless system, if I ever do uh, get around to doing that. And uh, just trying to find like a good affordable uh, brushless system that I can put in here. So if anybody has any ideas on that as well, uh, feel free to send me a note. Um, yeah, otherwise, that's it. That's my uh, Tamiya uh, Grasshopper with the truck conversion. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. And make sure you click on the ads. Uh, the more ads you click on, uh, the sooner I can get that brushless set up. Uh, so... Yeah, feel free to click it all, and uh, yeah, thanks for watching. See you later.